Yeah, I know. A controversial topic it is, to say the least, but I just gotta get it out. Godzilla vs Kong first of all will not be shown on the 26th of March. It has been pushed back a week to the 31st, but that's okay since we were already waiting for May to come. And the postponement isn't going to be such a huge shock except if you're on a trip to a remote island where there are no theaters or HBO Max. Oh wait a minute, I don't have HBO Max either. <laughs> anyway, in this video we will discuss as to why Kong will lose the fight against Godzilla and how it will play out later after the fight, which means that there might be a rematch in the future. Basically, it will be a Batman vs Superman, but on a gigantic scale. So here it goes. Okay, let us discuss what happens in the trailer first. Of course, we saw both of them fighting at least a part of the fight. And on these clips, Godzilla didn't even get to land a single blow on Kong. While Kong has been shown to punch Godzilla right on the face. He was seen hitting Godzilla again and again and while holding the hammer, he was able to deflect the atomic breath and then hack it right on the face of the G-Man. This seems a bit too much hype that Kong is having which ultimately means that he might probably not get a happy ending. I'm split, I'm actually both a Kong and Godzilla fan and can't seem to side with either of them. Like Switzerland, I'm neutral. In the trailer, Godzilla is underestimated and not just by a bit but by quite a lot. He was seen receiving hit after hit and not getting to retaliate. All we see is him attacking a naval base, destroying ships and basically creating havoc wherever he goes. But when facing his equal, he wasn't able to even land a single bite, a tail swipe, nor the atomic breath. Of course, on land, Kong would have the upper hand in agility as we can see him being faster and then jumping up and down and like the giant ape that he is, he can move and dodge attacks. But Godzilla should have been able to make mincemeat out of the ape while they were both at sea since that is his element and ape no swim. But even that didn't happen so maybe it was all just to build up tension for a climax, a final fight elsewhere. So the question is, why would Kong lose? Well this is a tricky question and the answer might not even be convincing to many of you all. In the trailer, Kong was seen transported away on a big ship. Why? Most probably that Skull Island was destroyed and isn't there anymore. If you remember the end credit scenes of KOTM, it was said that the Titans were all heading towards the island and it has recently started to become unstable. And if you think about it, humans cannot trap and hold back Kong against his will with chains and sedatives unless he was willing enough to let them do that. It would be the same as holding back Godzilla since they are both equally powerful. And in the trailer, you can actually see Kong looking at the chains with curiosity and amusement and he was in fact not hostile at all. Anyway, Kong was seen winning a little bit too much on the trailer. He first of all gave the G-Man the Roman Reigns Superman punch. Later, he body slammed him and pushed him back into the water. He was seen retrieving and holding a giant battle axe, the Titan Stormbreaker if you will. The next scene after that, he was hitting a home run by using one warbat as a bat against another warbat as a ball. Then we also saw him going all primal with the gorilla slam by using both of his arms and hitting the back of Godzilla's head. Then finally, he used the battle axe to deflect and absorb Godzilla's atomic breath which ended in him driving the axe into Godzilla's face, leading to a big white explosion. This was a little bit too much PR for Kong and a bit too less for Godzilla which leads me to believe that the end would be way different after all. Most of us will not alienate the other half of the audience, the ones that support Godzilla. So why would Godzilla win? Well, this is yet another tricky question as well. First of all, Godzilla has already had two wins on the movie screen and a couple of wins on the comics as well. One would lead to think that finally he would see his winning streak end and that Kong would be the Brock Lesnar that ends the WrestleMania streak of The Undertaker, which here would be Godzilla. In the trailer, he was portrayed as a monster wreaking havoc on the world, attacking military bases and cities and even Monarch. All the Madisons had no clue as to why benevolent protector Titan would suddenly turn over to the dark side. Theories are out there that Mechagodzilla was actually the one doing all this stuff and Godzilla is being framed. But I think that Godzilla was actually him in the trailers and he was sensing Ghidorah's brainwaves and bioacoustics from Mechagodzilla and that is why he was in a rampage to end the evil of Ghidorah once and for all, but that will be discussed in depth in our next video. So going back to the topic at hand, 
Godzilla was now being portrayed as the bad guy, which in his defense, he actually started that career in 1954 on that dark road. Anyway, this seemed a bit too much for a titan that was a protector and one that actually saved the humans from the Mutos in 2014 and ending the titan's attacks on cities in the end of KOTM in 2019. Of course, the bad guy has to lose in the end of the movie and the good guy will prevail unless this is Avengers Infinity War. But wait a minute, that too had Endgame. So why would Godzilla win? Well, maybe because he isn't the bad guy at all? And he was just doing his thing, searching and destroying whatever remains of the three-headed dragon, which on this universe would be Mecha Godzilla, the reincarnation of Monster Zero. And also that, after all the bad PR, he would be revealed again as a force of good and would secure at least one win, the ultimate one. But what would really happen? Now, these are all just theories first of all. I'm guessing that Skull Island goes out with a big bang or maybe sings like Atlantis in Aquaman and Kong has to be transported away to another place. Mecha Godzilla is being created and his biosignature is detected by Godzilla who goes on a hunting spree to destroy it and on the way meets Kong and battles in the ship and ocean while neither of them wins. Kong somehow gets to the Hollow Earth and retrieves the Godzilla killing weapon, the Stormbreaker and then fights again in Hong Kong or maybe Tokyo and in this battle, Godzilla is nearly killed but somehow by a tiny margin turns the tide of the battle in his favor and wins but spares Kong's life. Mecha Godzilla then emerges and takes the advantage of them both being worn out from the fight to get the upper hand on the battle with Godzilla. Kong then realizes the true enemy which is not Godzilla but Mecha Godzilla which is actually Ghidorah and joins the battle for the win. In the end, Gong goes back to isolation, to the hollow earth, as he always likes being alone. And Godzilla gets the surface, and the ocean, and the rest of the planet. I mean, that would be a pretty good ending. Neither of the teams lose their champions, and both of them secures a win. Godzilla winning the fight, and Gong winning an ally in the end. Both of them gets to go back to rule their own domains. Which by now, we see that Kong originally came from the hollow earth. The one that will fall would be Mecha Godzilla. But that's just me. I mean, I would love to hear a theory that connects the dots better. And if you have it, then put them down in the comments section. And with that, we come to the end of this video on why Kong would lose. Our next video will be about what the battle axe is made of and what Mecha Godzilla is made up of. So subscribe, smash that like button for support, and hit that notification bell for regular updates. Till then, take care, fam.